What's the most awkward thing you've witnessed at a high school reunion? Story 1. I play in a band. We got booked by a restaurant for some class reunion. I show up to set up for the gig and it's my freaking class. I wasn't even invited. Story 2. Haven't had a high school reunion yet, but here's a fun one from my mom's third reunion. She went with my dad back to her hometown for the reunion. My dad grew up in a different place, so he didn't know anybody there. Bored out of his mind, he decided to have some fun and found a way to discreetly ask someone who the biggest juvenile delinquent troublemaker was in the graduating class. Let's call him Albert Davis. So, my dad went to the name tag table and found Albert Davis's name tag. He put it on and went around saying hi to everyone just to watch their reactions, because most of them assumed that Albert Davis was in prison. My mom did not think it was funny. Story 3 My mom's 35th high school reunion was at a bar that I go to quite a bit. I walked in with my mom and went to a bartender that I know to order a drink for my mom and I. He looked up at my mother and I and immediately got super shy and weird and then said, You're the daughter of my mom's name? Apparently he had a huge crush on my mom in high school, but my uncle beat the crap out of him because he creeped my mom out. Very awkward indeed. I'm guessing you probably don't go there much anymore, huh? Story 4 I went with my wife to her reunion. I may have had a couple of drinks before arriving, and when I got there, I remembered hearing a story of a guy who was my wife's third grade boyfriend. Later in life, he had a rough time of things. Drugs, alcohol, run-ins with a law, etc. As a joke, I wrote his name on my name badge and went about my business. Not long after, a rather strong, stocky woman turned around, looked at me, then at my name tag. When she saw the name, she looked up at me, screamed excitedly as loud as I've ever heard, bear hugged me while lifting me off the ground, and bit my neck. Luckily, all I got was a decent bruise. I get hugging if you see someone you haven't seen in a while, but neck biting? Too much twilight for you, ma'am. Story 5 Not me, but my brother-in-law's high school reunion. A guy that was severely bullied in high school started a Facebook group to get the ball rolling on planning a high school reunion. He planned the venue, food, drinks, and asked everyone to pay a ticket price to cover it all. He organized the money to go into a provided bank account, received 200-plus people's high school reunion dollar dues, and bounced, never to be heard of again. I've never laughed so hard in my life. Story 6 Not my high school reunion, but my mother's. She walked in and was saying hi to a few of the women when one of them dragged her husband over. In a very loud voice, she said, You remember, my name's Mom. Her brother was the one that fired you last month. My mom ended up avoiding them the rest of the night. Story 7 I heard that a classmate set the venue on fire. Glad it didn't go. I'm pretty sure that reunion was lit. Probably even fire. Story 8 it was at a five-year reunion. Basically, it boiled down to, what do you do for work? And if you had anything lucrative, people wanted to be your best friend and try to get connections. Story 9. On our 15th, they asked and gave out prizes for the person who traveled the farthest to attend, traveled the least far to attend, had the newest car, the oldest car, the youngest child, etc. The look in the MC's face when he realized what asking for the oldest child would mean. Story 10. The captain of the football team was a pretty sad sight. He looked like hell and was so proud of sneaking booze in with his flask. I mean, it was a cash bar, but the prices were reasonable. The moral of the story is, don't peek in high school and then go to the reunion. It was probably Albert Davis before he went to jail. Story 11. I dropped out of school and received my GED. Someone invited me to the reunion for the class I would have graduated with. They gave out trophies, like most of the other reunions that folks had posted already. I received an award for most successful. I guess getting a college degree and holding a job for more than a year is successful. Super awkward going up on stage for that one. Story 12. Nothing. And by nothing, I mean the awkward feeling of being one of the only 12 who showed up. Story 13. My 10-year reunion was in 2015. They ended up at a table surrounded by my childhood bullies, all of them very apologetic and asking me who they should vote for and why it should be Bernie. It was super surreal. Story 14. I went to my 40th. I now live in the West Coast and the school is in New Jersey. Met up with a sweet girl that I had dated on and off in school, but nothing more. She's widowed. After a few, she asked me why we never did it, and I... Uh, what? It was a come on that I did not follow up on. Story 15. Probably what I said to a guy I barely even talked to. He was lanky, had jack teeth, and bad acne. Not why I didn't talk to him, we just never had a lot of the same classes and were in different activities. He came up to me at the reunion, said who he was, and told me I looked great. I replied, you do too. I barely recognized you. You changed so much. The second it was out of my mouth, I was apologizing. It felt so bad, but he laughed it off. Maybe he laughed because he probably thought of you the same way. <laughs> Story 16. A guy from our class passed away from cancer shortly before our 20th reunion. It was never super popular, but was pretty well known across our class. 
During the awards and speech section of the night, the lady, or class president, I think, was trying to get the crowd to settle down for a moment of silence. You could tell it meant a lot to her as she started getting heated. The crowd started shushing one another, and it got just quiet enough to hear somebody say, Geez, did somebody die or something? Story 17 On my 10th, the organizers gave awards to people for various reasons. One girl from our class was given an award for having the most kids of anyone there. She'd had four by different guys, which was part of the announcement. The look on her face as she slinked up to the podium said it all. Story 18 It was at a 10-year reunion held at a bar owned by a former classmate, stored at 10 p.m. Owner told people, adults over 21 only. People said they needed to bring their kids and were told no. Several people brought their babies and toddlers anyway. Parents drank like teenagers and the kids ran wild. Owner called the cops who watched the parents be negligent. Parents were escorted out by some cops and their kids were taken out by others. The original reunion was going to be at our high school, but less than 20 people bought tickets, so it was canceled. A lot of us live not too far and see each other out and about anyway. We had a Facebook group for the event. So when it was canceled, the bar owner agreed to have something at his place, but we had to follow the laws since it was a bar and not a restaurant. Like, no one under 21. He did ask people to leave with their kids and was cursed out. I heard one girl spat on him, so he called the cops. One of my friends, who was an organizer for the original event, tried watching the kids and she pointed out their parents to the cops when they arrived. The classmates were really drunk, to the point they couldn't have driven their kids home and others were belligerent, hence the arrests. After reading this, it sounds like an episode of It's Always Sunny. Story 19 My wife, at the time, and I had dated all through high school and college. We married and had a child. We still had a few close friends we graduated with that were going as well. I would say there was about a 70% turnout. We had a good time and everyone got pretty drunk. We all mingled and my wife talked to a guy who she had cheated on me with right after high school. They didn't speak for more than three minutes. They hadn't spoken since that day almost 10 years before. We had moved past it and had a family. At least that's what I thought. Less than a month after the reunion, I could tell that something wasn't right. When I asked her about it, she told me she wasn't happy and wanted a divorce. We had been together for a very long time, and I was devastated. After a week of feeling like I had failed and doing everything I could to win her back, I discovered she had been having an affair with that same guy. Story 20. Someone made a speech along the lines of, To all of those that felt picked on or bullied, I have something to say to you. She then started to sing Let It Go from Frozen. She's not one of the people worth melting for, that's for sure. Story 21. At my 10th year high school reunion, a guy I hated and who hated me showed up and came directly toward me. Not saying anything at all to me, he then engaged the person standing right next to me on my left. He proceeded to move around the room, talking to literally everyone there. There were only 33 people in my class. and stopped with a person on my right. They didn't so much as acknowledge my existence the whole rest of the day. It was super weird at the time. But many years later, it was the most memorable thing that happened. I laugh about it now. That's a lot of effort put into holding such an old grudge. Dude definitely hates you, or he probably has a crush on you. Story 22. I was there with a guy friend when he saw his ex. They approached each other, him going in for a hug and her extending her hand to shake. When they each realized what the other was doing, she put her arms out for a hug and he extended his hand to shake. By the time they touched, it was a jumble of hands and arms weirdly touching each other. He started by saying, So, how have you been? I just said, Uh, excuse me, and got the hell away from them. <laughs> Story 23. I went to my wife's last reunion a few months ago. The day of the reunion, she got a call that it was canceled. Apparently five years earlier, a classmate got creepy and stalkery with another classmate. The people organizing the reunion asked him not to show up. Then the guy posted on Facebook some vague threats. They did actually change the venue and had the reunion, but unfortunately, there were many people that couldn't be contacted with the updated info. Sucks that they canceled on the day itself, and you weren't updated. But you know what? You can be updated each time we post a new video if you like and subscribe. Story 24 My friend said her cousin's high school reunion was really awkward because the guy ran up and kissed his high school ex-girlfriend without him asking and then got in a fist fight with her husband, which did not turn out well from what I hear. Story 25 Apparently, every year, my brother's graduating class gets together at this one neighborhood bar over Thanksgiving. It's not a formal thing, but anyone can come and they all have a few drinks and it's totally normal. I literally had no idea about it, and apparently my brother didn't either, because three or four years ago we showed up to get a drink together alone, and his entire graduating class of 50-ish people were there. Now, my brother was super nerdy and kind of an awkward kid, but joining the Marines in college turned him around and now he's an outgoing, sociable guy. Coming out of the closet once he hit 23 helped too, since he was comfortable in his own skin and it showed outwardly. Thing was, no one seemed to know he was gay. This is a small town in the Midwest, 
for there's nothing else to do but gossip, and since no one leaves, everyone knows everyone else. I literally spent all night cringing, while my brother dodged the advances of a bunch of girls aggressively hitting on him, since the dating pool was the same guys they went to high school with, and he was fresh meat. They were all coming on super strong, and it was bad. Then everything got even worse when he told them he was living on the East Coast because he was gay and married, and his husband's job was there. Ah, small town living. A few people escape, most never leave, and no one new ever moves in. Story 26. It was a party with all old high school people at it. Not sure if people actually have reunions anymore, but it ended up the same. I met up with an ex, and an ex-buddy of mine kept saying crap about how we would be perfect back together. It was just stupid for a ton of reasons, and the dude kept pushing. I don't even know the guy's endgame, but he looked like a total idiot, and I'm pretty sure he made my ex feel pretty uncomfortable. Then I had to feel uncomfortable when I finally told him to get lost. Story 27. People coming up to me asking what's up and seem to know a whole deal about me, while I have no memory of who they are at all. Story 28. Probably the reunion itself. Our 10 year was in 2015. I did not attend as I got roped into helping salvage a four-wheeler from the river that a couple of buddies had found. If you're interested, the guy who kept it got running again for about $1,000 worth of parts and work hours. Score. So for about three or four months leading up to the reunion date, a few of the popular girls from our class started a Facebook group to organize everything, and it seemed to be going really well. People had moved all over the country but were saying they were moving their schedules around to attend. There was talk of renting an event hall in the fairgrounds. One girl's family now owned a local restaurant and offered to put up that venue for an after-hours thing, etc. Everyone seemed really into it. And from what I could see, all seemed ready and willing to put behind them whatever petty grudges and high school bullshit had existed 10 years before. Come to the morning of, and absolutely no one has committed anything. And in fact, it's almost complete radio silence in the Facebook group. Someone suggests that since we have no place reserved, should everyone just meet at the bars downtown and go from there? So it was that. Exactly seven people showed up and played oversized Jenga. They at least looked like they had a good time, but what a letdown. I was initially a bit bummed about knowing I was missing a reunion, but when I saw the turnout on Facebook when I got back into cell range, I wasn't that disappointed anymore. Oversized Jenga sounds pretty cool, but imagine the stack falling on you. So I think salvaging a four-wheeler sounds way more fun. Story 29. Mine is in a few months, but the awkwardness has already started. First, I never had any plans to go. Things like that really aren't my speed. I'm not a mingler, and I always want to leave right away. Besides, I'll be away on military orders by that time anyway, so there's no way I can go. So a few weeks ago, I got added to a 10-year reunion page on Facebook by someone I don't recognize. Immediately think, nope, leave the page. Then don't think about it again. I got a phone call a few days later from an unknown number. Not unusual since lots of people call me for work stuff. I answer and get this really enthusiastic, Oh my god, hi, it's name. How are you? I apologize and tell her I think she has the work number. I don't know anyone with that name. She says my whole name and says she got my number from my friend from school. She was the class president, but I honestly didn't remember her. She asks about the reunion. I politely tell her I'm not going. I have other obligations. She says, I don't know if that will work. I'll be in touch. And hangs up. I'm like, what the hell? But whatever. A few days later, I got added back to the same group by her. Again, I leave it. Not 30 minutes later, I get a phone call from her. She wants to know why I left the group again. And again, I tell her I have other obligations. She told me that, you don't skip reunions. You planned this for years. You'll be there. So sarcastically, I said, okay, well, save me a spot then. And up. A third time, I'm added to this group. I'm like, for Christ's sake, and leave again. I get a call, and this time, she's calling to tell me that my ticket and dinner money are due by the end of the week. I politely remind her that I'm not going. She gets snooty and informs me that the venue and catering have already been reserved, and that I will need to pay for my meal as the fund would not cover it. Once again, I remind her that I was never attending and that it isn't my fault that she paid in advance without a proper count. She then told me, You don't have a choice. It's already paid for, so you have to be there. I said, All right, bye, wrong name, and hung up again. I ended up blocking her on Facebook, ignoring her calls, and leaving the group two more times when other members of the reunion committee added me back in. My man is an absolute savage. Calling her the wrong name then hanging up just puts the icing on the cake. Story 30 when my lady teacher came up to me, kissed me on the cheek, and told me she loved me, she was very drunk. I felt very awkward. And no, she wasn't hot. She was old, and one spell checked a Christmas card I gave her, and the night of the formal smelled strongly of booze. Story 31. When I was like six, I went to my dad's small town 30-year reunion. His ex fiance not my mom, was dressed in her prom dress and kept talking to me saying she should have been my mommy. Even then, I knew that was weird. Keep your crazy in, lady. Your dad dodged a bullet there. Story 32. A girl turned into a boy and wasn't allowed to go in because he changed his name. 
Story 33. A kid in my class, 1982, was hit by a car during her junior year and wound up in a persistent vegetative state. We had heard bits and pieces of information about him in the years after, but none of it sounded reliable. He was dead. He was still in a coma. He had come out of it. He was normal. He had become a born-again Christian. He lived at home and couldn't do anything for himself. You name it, we had heard it. Every reunion, there's still misinformation being passed around about the guy. In our 10-year reunion program, he was on the end memoriam page. Then it was pointed out that he wasn't dead. Last fall, we had our 35th reunion, and he was announced along with a, let's take a minute to remember our departed classmates. Then others pointed out that they thought he was still alive and living in Florida now. I don't think we'll ever find out the truth. Not that it matters, though. He was a freaking prick anyway. Story 34. Two of our classmates passed away before our five-year reunion. One of the girls organizing the event thought it would be a good idea to make cardboard cutouts of their faces, as if they were truly still here with us. The worst part was that people got drunk and started toting them around, taking pictures of them. It was messed up. I don't think that's messed up. Real friends now. Probably even gave cardboard cutouts a shot. Story 35. The lighting was dim, we were old, and some nitwit decided to let people scrawl their own name tags, which then hung on the lanyards at crotch level. Nobody could hear anything over the snot-nosed DJ blasting, Eye of the Tiger, and trying to figure out who you were talking to was pretty awkward. Ah, what a delightfully cringeworthy memory. Story 36. At my 10-year reunion, it was more everyone getting really pissed. At the 20th, there were a few people seemingly bitter at those who had done pretty well in life. Odd, really. Story 37. Got invited by Facebook message. We're not friends on Facebook, but one of the girls who made pretty much the whole time I was there a living hell. Didn't attend, obviously, because everyone I wanted to keep in touch with, I did, but got a, aw, sorry we missed you, hun. We should do lunch soon, message. But why? Selective memory or... Story 38. I didn't go to my 10 year, but drama unfolded on Facebook in the planning stages. One guy decided the official reunion wasn't good enough, so he planned a competing reunion and tried to siphon people off the other. When people started posting confusion to the event page, the argument between the two reunion leaders went something like 80 comments deep. The best part is that then current principal, who'd been a popular teacher when we were students, actually had to step in and mediate. It was freaking hysterical. I had been on the fence about going since I stayed close to my good friends in high school and Facebook kept me informed about anyone else I cared to know about. But that whole thing sealed it for me. I didn't go. It's true what they say about 10-year reunions. Nobody has changed. Story 39. I went to mine with my roommate. Everyone thought we were married or something. I'm male, she's female. When we started dancing with other people, girls would look over my shoulder at my roommate and then slowly dance away from me. It wasn't like I was getting all close or anything. On the flip side, the one dude just stopped dancing with my roommate and left without a word. When she came to tell me about what happened, we both turned to see that he was making a beeline for the exit. After telling this to a mutual friend, it was pointed out that we probably looked like swingers. We still laugh about it to this day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, I'm sure you'll love what's the worst thing that happened at your high school reunion. Story 7 was really awkward. Catch you on that one.